So think in the background that x is a function of t, and then y is also a function of t. So whenever you encounter the derivative of x or the derivative of y with respect to t, you have to like keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's apply the derivative with respect to time of both to both sides of this equation. So we have xy plus x squared minus y squared equals four. Okay, so we got something like that. Y cubed. Is that what that is? So to this first term right here, this x times y, we have to use the product rule, right? Because we've got a product of two functions, x and y. So let's see, if we take the derivative of x first, we get the x by dt, we multiply that by y, and then we add that to x times the derivative of y with respect to t. Just keeping in mind that x and y are both functions themselves. In the first case, we have our function x wrapped up into the other function that squares it. So there we can use uh, the power rule. So let's see, a two comes down and then we have x, but then we need to multiply by dx by, by dt because of the power rule. And then the same kind of thing over here. So we're gonna have minus three y squared times dy by dt, again, because of the power rule. And then finally, the last thing to do will be to take the derivative of the right-hand side, but the derivative of four, well, that's a constant, so the derivative is zero. Okay, great. And now, well, we just like plug in the things that we know and solve for the thing that we want, right? So check it out. We want dy by dt, and we're given y equals one and dx dt equals two. So, you know, as we'll see, that won't be enough information. But that being said, let's maybe see that after we try to see if we have enough information. Okay, so that means everywhere we see y, we're gonna put one. Everywhere we see dx dt, we're gonna put two. So let's see, that's gonna give us two times y, or sorry, two times one, because we know both parts of that, and then plus x times dy dt, because we don't know either of those, and then plus, let's see, 2x times dx dt. So it's really 2x times 2, so that's gonna be a 4x, and then minus 3y squared times dy dt. But look, y is equal to one, so that's gonna be minus three times dy dt. Okay, and then that's gonna be equal to zero. So that's just plugging in kind of our knowns, right? 